Okay. All right. Uh, let me. I'm on obviously a different part of Colorado, and I wanted to show you some uh, some cool stuff and and just um, you know today's just been a hard day. Uh, work is hard. Everything's hard still, and I wanted to just uh, I had a, had an experience today that I would I'll share with you that. You know, I keep wondering. You know, am I going to keep posting these uh, these videos? And is there any real value? Am I bringing any good? Or is it just a an exercise in narcissism? And you know, the all the voices of self contempt and self pity and judgment, all those things come out. That's one of the reasons why I, th I think uh, uh, even though I'm an extrovert, I'm also a very very private individual. Um, and I had an experience that I just. I wanted to share with you and, and, and to pr provide a little bit of context of the disconnect between um, of my side and your side. And that is, like for example, um, I was talking to this biologist and, okay, well, first of all, there's a, there's a bird called a magpie bird, okay? It's a beautiful bird. It's kind of a tuxedo-like bird. Don't ever call it a tuxedo bird because they'll, uh, they'll quickly realize that you're not from Colorado. It's called a magpie. It's a beautiful, beautiful bird, and as much as I hate to admit it, I'm kind of, I just believe there's significance to birds. I guess I'm a strange bird, da dum boom. Okay, um, so I was up yesterday on a, on a uh, mountain and on my hike, and I see this magpie that's flying, that's, I mean, and I was gonna say 120 miles an hour. I mean, and, you know, you don't, you don't wanna say that because you're like, you're talking to a biologist and you're, you're thinking, well, maybe it's really 60. Well, she said, well, it's, it's called a, a peregrine falcon. And that was last night. And so I Googled it, peregrine falcons can fly up to 248 miles per hour. And, and, and if you haven't seen a peregrine falcon, it's really hard to just picture a comet close to a tree, okay? But it looked like a magpie. So anyway, so I did a little research on it today and then I did my morning hike. Uh, the markets are down. I'm in a bad mood. I'm wondering if I should even post shit when I'm in a bad mood because I don't want to add to, to, uh, to I don't want my drama to become somebody else's drama. Uh, and I don't even want to send that energy out. So anyway, so I deleted a bunch of fucking emails or uh, videos and uh, in one of my videos that I've deleted, uh, the peregrine falcon flew, another peregrine falcon flew kind of over my head. And the biologist was right. She said, if you're ever around when you see a peregrine, whenever they come, it's like a shoo. Well, that falcon, I don't know how fast that my falcon was today, but it was, it was it's basically like imagine a, a, a bowling ball that flies over your head. It makes a shoo sound. Okay, so what's my point? The point is, there is always a disconnect between what's experienced and the fact. So for example, I can give you the facts of, of what a peregrine falcon looks like or how fast they can fly, but unless you experience being about six feet from it, you will never understand it. So. With that said, there's always a disconnect between two people. That whenever someone sends and whenever somebody receives, there's always a disconnect. So I could tell you how exciting that was, but you may be like in fucking Dallas, Texas, who, you know, you've sat behind your laptop all day. You're just gonna see me being dramatic. Whereas if you were actually there, you're gonna realize it's like a comet. So that's really the, the, the video of the day I wanted to tell, tell you about the the Falcon but also really to bring to bring a highlight to there's always a disconnect between perception and a fact and so you know that that uh, that helps me even in my own relationships that I'm dealing with like for example my dad who almost never emails me he emailed me today and you know out of nowhere he emails me and again I could perceive that from a perception which is all John, or I can perceive that as a fact. And the fact is, is part of empathy and part of healing is understanding that you're only seeing one side of things. And you may be hearing facts, but there is, there is that disconnect between facts and perception. And uh, that's also, that's good and that's bad. 
Uh, but today it was, a, it was kind of a highlight that I could perceive something and it could be a level 10, but somebody else could perceive something at a negative 10. And with that said, it kind of helps me let go of a lot of this, the self-judgment that I have because, you know, for example, there are some people out there that just hate men. They just hate men. Well, anything a man says, they're going to resent. So that's a negative, that person's starting at a negative 10. That person's not even, uh, there's, that's not even a decent conversation to have. Um, and so part of just growing, growing up is to realize that I am perceiving things, I'm perceiving the peregrine falcon in one way, somebody else is hearing about it very differently. And mercy is really just understanding that there is that disconnect there. Uh, and empathy is understanding that, there's that, in, that there is that disconnect there. And a lot of times we deny that there's a disconnect there. Uh, or I get upset because you don't react like I want you to, to to a peregrine falcon. Whereas if you were there, you probably would have, you know, done what I did or more. Anyway, just hope you enjoyed the scenery. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video in some way. It hopefully uh, brought some good to you today.